All right. I'll start the recording now. I forgot to, um, even though I'm just like BSing currently. Scary chicken. Yeah, Putrid after being a zombie. Zombie dinosaur beast is a nice one. Lots of people in the prelim so far. Kind of wonder if I'm going to miss having Veil on my sideboard, but I don't think I will. It's certainly close, though. Anyway, yeah, I was sort of inspired by Dave, even though Dave, for some reason, only wants to play one of the broken card, one once upon a time, but it's okay. Dave also kind of just does his own thing. It's a statement that you never want to draw two. That's, that's like the statement, I guess. I have so many things to delete. Rest in peace, young prince. This deck was probably the most broken. I guess it wasn't the most broken, but it was pretty darn good. This deck, not so much. I did not really understand this deck, and I think it showed. <laughs> Can I? Whoa, is that new? Sick. All right. Thank you, Ferrando. I think I feel like that's new. Yeah, I also believe that is new. Uh, I kind of want to keep these for posterity. Oh man, this deck was great. Too bad it's not legal. Well, too bad the format died, I guess. But this deck was great. Nope, they aren't. I'm playing this deck instead today. Yeah, exactly, Ferendo. You get it. We we went Marie Kondo on that. Right. Three minutes left. need one more no it, it'll fire I think the minimum is 16 or maybe I don't understand your question is this the legendary salt lord the Hollywood MK it might be hola hello newt i don't think it's mike keller hollywood is mike keller and he's a very friendly guy um unless if i'm thinking of someone else i think this is someone else as far as i know mike does not play mtgo I somehow doubt it's uh, Mike Keller. Hollywood is his nickname, uh, Mike's nickname, but I don't think this is him. 
because the screenshots do not align with my world vision of him. So, yeah, I would also be surprised if it turned out to be him. But I guess, I mean, obviously I don't know for sure, but I would be very, very, very skeptical. I have a lot of events coming up. I need to practice standard for Detroit. But I do want to play the showcase on Sunday, so we're putting our nose to the grindstone. Pun intended. This deck today. I still might just get Breach in the showcase. I might play something else as well, I'm not sure. Really, like, the world is the oyster. Or some something, I'm not sure. Yep. I think this deck is good versus Breach, like Stock Breach. Can't chant Reclaimer into Bog is true. Although you can abandon it, Ferrando, for what it's worth. If you expect a lot of Reclaimers, you might just switch to uh, abandon, even though two is a lot more than one. Like, obviously, it's twice as much, but the utility of shutting off, like, Tormod's Crypts and Reclaimers and stuff like that might be worth it. But I don't know. I have a match? I don't see it. Oh, I see. Hmm. I guess. Do I have a fast kill? How do I want to play this? I think I actually take the second herb work and just play turn one confidant. can weave up bog this way as well. It doesn't matter. Oh, I guess it does. I should play the depths actually, but see what happens. Oh shoot. I needed to play the stage actually. So oh, dumb. Need to, uh, sorry, I need to play the depths, not the stage. All right. Hopefully it doesn't cost me, but that was really bad. Because yeah, it that was just like a horrific punt actually. 
Yeah, I, I messed it up. I didn't think it out well enough. Yeah, if I lose on Bryant's turn three, I deserve it. Interesting. Guess we'll see what's going on. Guess I won't. Took game one despite playing the wrong land on turn two. I think I'll have a small number of ley lines in. Not a large number, but a small number. Unbanned mental misstep. Thank you for the follow. Or a sub. Uh, that's reasonable. Could have thought about that more. Uh, good. What was I doing before? I think most of the cards are great. Actually, I'm not gonna bother with choke, I think. I think the decays are pretty horrendous. So I'm just not gonna bother with that. You don't need Paracus. So I'm just gonna go like this. Um. So the one thing is, I guess I could see, but it depends on how much their deck actually interacts with the graveyard. So I might, I'm kind of thinking these ley lines are kind of crappy too, now I think about it, but it really depends on the exact setup, I believe. They have one Echo of Eons. All right, I'm not gonna bother with ley line then. I think it's probably not good. I'm gonna actually side in Tarmogoyf instead. And one, maybe one ley line? Nah, one Plague Engineer to shut off empty in case. Well, I also just don't think the Leyline Avenue is even that strong. This is probably worse than an average five, actually. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Just ship. It's like an herb lord, really. Going to ship the Plague Engine. Well. Like it as a black source, actually. Chose the shuffle. 
Yep. I'm just going to bog because my hand is like, my hand's set up in such a way that I think I just want to play these cards turn to turn. The mana in depths is pretty bad, is the thing that's going on here. Mm. You can do that. Decays in. If they had another red source, I would actually be dead, I guess. But they can't filter black into red, so I think I survive. I think that's correct. Okay. Oh no, they can just wish. Never mind. This is easy. They wish claw for. Uh... Okay, yeah, it's trivial actually. Never mind. Did they have to echo? Oh, if they imprinted Burning Wish, I guess they did, right? Appears I'm very dead. What if I had Spirit Guy's life goes on? I have one joke in my deck over the Plague Engineer. I don't think Poseidon the Empty versus me. Obviously it's possible, but I don't think it's likely. So if I once into a BG land, this hand's good. Let me run the numbers on that. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's not turbo, it's medium. But that hand's just not good enough, I think. This hand, on the other hand, is quite good, so I'll keep this hand. Going to uh, ship the forest.
could just lead with Inquisition and then decide what to do. I wonder if that's correct. If I do that... I actually maybe should have just bought him the Reclaimer, actually, now that I think about it, but it's too late. What's up, Dokomoi? I think I made an error by not bottoming the Reclaimer, actually. Um, it's kind of unfortunate, but let's think about what's going to happen. Right. I guess I'll just Inquisition and see what's up. Kind of annoying, there's just a bunch of chaos spells. I guess I could just take Wish Claw. Potentially taking Brainstorm might be slightly better. Actually, not really. I guess I'll just take Wish Claw. Considering Mox pitch depths and playing Reclaimer as well, as well now. I think I am going to. I'm going to reclaim up uh, Urborg end step. It does. So the way you do this is you fetch away Bayou, Bayou for Urborg. This is the list I showed you earlier, uh, Biraj. We're in game three. I won game one with a quick kill. Wasn't actually really expecting to, but you know, sometimes it happens, I suppose. This is actually pretty good, I think, right? Yeah, cuts off a little bit of mana. And I can say go. Obviously, if I need to burn my crop rotation, I can. Not going to attack. I don't think there's really a point. Actually, maybe I should have. Hmm. I don't know. Wait. Do I even have it? Go black, rotate. Yeah, I do. Okay. But I'm, I might be dead. Uh, I don't have it, actually. Yeah, I actually messed it up last turn then. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Sucks. I'm probably going to lose now. Yep. 
You can just chain Talisman into Burning Wish now. It's a pretty trivial kill. This matchup always kind of sucked, to be fair. Brian probably thinks I have Veil in my hand, which is the reason not to go for the fast Burning Wish kill. Because he initiated a draw 7, so that's what's going on here. That's my take on the situation anyways. I don't like mind break in this deck actually. I think mind break is significantly worse than Veil of Summer. Uh, we're about to lose. But that's okay. Don't think I played perfectly. Yo, what's up, Solnox? Yeah. I was supposed to get Depths last turn with the Reclaimer instead of Urborg. Pretty disappointed in myself. Also, I've just I've been doing so bad in these prelims. It's kind of insane. A million, like, a million three twos. An O three. It's okay, though. Mm, just thinking about it makes me sad. I just confused then. Can I go back and watch my replay right now? I don't think I can. Yo, Clug, what's up, dude? Hope you're having a good one. Playing a uh, Magic Online prelim. I'm 0 and 1, but that's okay. I'm watching the VOD. Um, yeah, that was the reason they get depths because if I get, if I have depth stage and I have a land, I can just rotate the other land into Urborg. I think this list is good. It's close to Dave's, except Dave refuses to play more than one of this card, which I don't think is correct, but I also just kind of let Dave do whatever he wants in team events because he just wins anyways, so just I'm a strong believer in letting your teammate do what they want as long as it they win. Even if you don't agree with how they build their deck. I think helping your team is correctly rated, to be quite fair. Um, I guess I'll go look for the VOD. How do I do that? Uh, 
I played a bunch of Breach already recently. Kind of sick of it, to be fair, but obviously it's a good deck, but Watching my own replay is weird, obviously. Okay. Well, there is a Skirt Commando. Let's go find the game, though. All right, let's pause for a sec. Here's the hand, it's seven cards. What do you do and why? This is after a mulligan. So, I believe I already misplayed this game the way I played it out, but just think about it, and here's what I think I should have done. Yeah, I should have bottomed the Reclaimer. Yeah, the mistake was on the Mulligan. So, the reason to bottom the Reclaimer is if you... Um, how do I best put this? Well, it's game three, yeah. I should have bought him to... It's game three. So, that was the error, I think. That was the major error. Fog does nothing. That is correct. But, now that I've kept this, what's your plan? So, obviously I've made an error already, but there's still time to recover. There's still an optimal way to play this hand. And I believe it is correct to Inquisition first to see if you should mox up the, uh, the Reclaimer. Or mox, play the mox, anyways. So yeah, I played IOK. -okay, and I took Wishclaw, I think. I think taking Wishclaw is actually absolutely correct by this point. Because, like... The thing he wants to find with his brainstorms is a gas card, and Wishclaw is the gas card. So, obviously made a mistake, but that's okay. Like, mistakes happen. Just have to forgive yourself. So, discarding the depths was wrong. Okay, let's go back and analyze the discarding depths. This was actually terrible for a lot of reasons. Imagine if I draw an Hex Mage that turn. I'm just thinking about it now. Discarding the Depths actually makes no sense. I should have just discarded Stage. So that's another error. Wow. So I just I bungled it a bunch of times. But again, that's okay. The important thing is to not make these mistakes again. And to forgive yourself. Holding diamond absolutely reasonable too. That actually might have been the best play. If I hold the diamond, I obviously don't get the reclaimer out, but I don't think the reclaimer is that relevant. So a bunch of errors were made and none of them were forced. So it's it's kind of sad, but you know. It is what it is. Alright, how many matches left? Five matches left. How often do I play Depths? 
a fair amount. We'll not see. Yeah, it should have held diamond. Maybe just holding the diamond is really, really the best play. Because then you don't even have to decide, right? Yeah, that was probably better as well. <sighs> God damn it. Why is magic so hard? Yeah. I goofed it. Goofed in game one. Goofed in game three. Game two, I don't have any decisions. But yeah, I, I think it's just an error to have Leyline in your deck in that matchup. Obviously, I don't know their list specifically for sure. Because like the website is only as current as websites are. That's a reasonable approach. But I think the value of lands versus the other spells i think the lands are more valuable personally the thing is like mox diamond gets a lot worse once you don't have like 25 or 26 plus lands like i'm, I'm skirting with danger the way the deck is already configured even if once upon a time is like a replacement land essentially you know like, I, I, I'm certainly stretched on the mana front as well. No, I didn't have Engineer in my deck in game three. Yeah, Lands also has bad mana, but it's less bad, obviously, because there's a few more colored sources, generally speaking. Although, the mana gets worse once you move to three color builds, in my experience. So, cut diamonds and add Elder Spirit Guide instead. So, there's, like, a small amount of merit to that, actually. I think there would be more merit to that if I re really, really, really reconfigured my deck. But one thing that Mox Simon is nice is letting you play two black spells in one turn, and Elvish Spirit Guide does not do that. So, don't think it's uh, necessarily clear that you should just play spirit guides over diamonds play 25 lands and four guides i mean you're i mean you're still not really fixing the colored mana situation to be fair if you do that Hmm. Oh, that tries to boot me from an event. I could see three, but I think the reality is there's a lot of matchups where you do board down to three, so that's not unrealistic.
All right, I'm going to open a chest for unbanned mental misstep while I think about the sins I committed. Ooh, hand more battlements. Hello, Amulet Titan. And 45 play points, so that's an above average chest. I start seeing a lot of play now because of the restructuring of Amulet. Basically, if you tighten, if you have an amulet out and you tighten up Hanwar Battlements and Valkit, you can give your Titan haste. Obviously, it doesn't get plus two plus zero, but that's okay. Kind of miss how silly the melds look IRL. I think the current version of Amulet Titan is a lot easier to play. They finally made it so that your lands aren't so finicky, uh, Dokumai, if you want to try it again. Uh, like, now it's... Um, how do I put it? My observations are that I think your deck is easier to play. Yeah, I think Dryad made it significantly easier to play, uh, for what it's worth. I played it a lot when Summer Boom was legal. Obviously, that's not the case anymore, but... Yeah, Zagon was not good. People cut that card really quickly. And there were certain people who were just like, that's not a good card. So... I would not be pro Zakama whatsoever. Did anyone else sub? Was it just mental misstep? I can't remember. Unbanned mental misstep. <laughs> That's a nice one. Needle Zakama. Reveal deck, no Zakama to be shown here. Two matches left. All right, I guess I'm gonna get a glass of water because I have a slight headache now. Be right back in a sec. Actually, I'm gonna run, run in a real quick ad, then I'll be right back. I'm back. What did I miss? Anything? Nope, didn't miss anything. One match left. 30, 38 minutes in. Kind of hope it, it runs fast.
guess I'll look at what other deck lists that people are playing in these prelims since it's like published almost daily now, right? Oh, Sandy Dog, this is Delver, Bant Maverick. Like Inquisition to take Brazen Borrower personally. Whoa, what the heck? This is kind of cool and weird. Um, yeah, this is something, all right. Do we have the Tome Scour? We don't, but that's okay. I don't think you need the Tome Scour, really. Uh, I lost the first match. I'm playing GB Depths. I lost to Bryant playing Storm, the Epic Storm. You can check out his website if you want to read that. It says Grixis is actually blue red. Just a note. Same, says Grixis, but it is actually blue-red. Has one clout of the Dominus. Nice. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you can put it on your Dreadhorde Arcanist and it'll be a two-power creature. And there's a reasonable number of two-mana spells that you wouldn't mind flashing back. Steel Stompy, huh? Haven't seen this one for a while. It's mono blue. Well, it's, it's not really mono blue. It's colorless with six blue cards. And you have one, five, nine, thirteen blue sources. It's probably enough. That's interesting. I guess this is probably the list he was playing. I'll expand decks. That makes sense, actually. Thank you. Didn't realize that, obviously. Dark Lord Control. With no astrolabe, huh? Interesting. Guess if you don't expect a lot of wastelands, this is a reasonable way to approach the meta. One yo, two yo, four C loam. Really five C because there's blue, white, red, black. Quote this is incredible in this deck, I think, personally, but. Drazi Post. Uh, this is not just guy. This is four color. Interesting. I don't know what's with this going out of the last tooth, actually. Yeah. Isn't this, like, really weird? 5, 41, 49, 5, no, 31, 12. I don't know what's going on there. That's really peculiar. Anything special? Nope. Ah, uh, yes. A friend of mine 
play this prelim, brewed up a deck, and then in the middle of this prelim realized a lot of problems with this deck. <laughs> but it went it went three two. Let's uh let's list some problems. D all right. All right, chat. First issue. Can anyone tell me the text on Pillar of the Prunes without looking it up? Well, you would say that, Duckamoy. You would. Yep. And ironically, you can't even ninjutsu off of Pillar of the Prunes because it's only casting spells. Now, Felix realized this right when it was about to happen, I think. All right. Next issue. Why is niv in this deck? Like, I'm actually skeptical niv is better than Euro on average. Nimizid is sweet. We'll have to four mind break, yeah. How about Deafening Clarion? How do you feel about Deafening Clarion? By the way, jinxed it. They were in match uh, game three, like at 38 minutes, and it's been seven minutes. I jinxed it. I thought it was going to end early. Oh. I mean, this deck is probably a lot closer to a real deck than I am giving it credit for, but... <laughs> uh, this deck is sweet. Rogue Snow Painter, huh? Ooh, we got some Soul Guide Lanterns, huh? It's kind of cute. No, it wasn't, Lackey. I talked to him. Well, not if you want to chalice more fling, right? But yeah, chrome mox might make more sense actually, but I think mox diamond plus other stuff might make more sense. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, that deck's sweet. All right. Anything out of the ordinary here? Bitter Blossom in 2020. Interesting. Try to go for Niv Stompy. Did I already look at this one? Gosh, maybe I should just play this deck. But, like I said, I don't love the three color mana bases. Is Jan playing actual turbo? Guess so. <laughs> you have Judge Bitter Blossoms. Why not Blue Red Delver? Uh, kind of underpowered, I think. <laughs> so useless now. What? What? What is going on here? I mean, I understand what's going on, but what is going on here? Why is there a skeletal scrying in our deck? Jer Jeremy Mandel, thank you for the follow. This is really weird. Paradigm Shift is cool, for those of you who have not seen it. Whoops. Uh, 
Thought Lash plus Thassa's Oracle is basically an auto win a lot of the time. I don't really un Oh, I understand Skeletal Squaring now, actually. It exiles your entire yard for the Paradigm Shift. Uh, goldfish naming conventions can be sometimes off. Sora. Yeah, but you don't get a 6-6 to attack your opponent with. And GL. Wish I hadn't lost. Let's see who I'm paired against. I've attacked a lot with those inverters, personally. Playing against Thickwick. Let's see what Thickwick is playing. Keep. God damn it. I guess I do have a bunch of way lines on my sideboard at least, but. Oh wow. Wow, am I gonna get him? Am, am I actually doing it? Hello? Hello? Hello and good luck, friend. Hello and good luck. Oh, this is where you're going? This is where you're going? I have bad news for you, opponent. I have bad news for you. It's probably not going to work out very well for you. Yeah. I, I don't really want that to happen. I really don't want that to happen, friend. I right. think I'm going to just waste them. It cuts off, like, Entomb reanimate lines. That's fun for one person. Probably not our opponent. What do you want me to do, Junk? Not do it? Hmm. Might suck if they have Entomb into Animate Dead, actually. I think I'm just going to get the depths. Oh, they didn't even entomb? What the hell? Maybe they don't have entomb, I guess. Oh, it was probably Thought Seize is what they had last turn. They were contemplating doing it versus not doing it. Alright, so I'm going to get stage this turn. Pretty 
pretty sure this is correct. kind of weird to contemplate branding reanimator where um breach is like one of the most hated out decks in the format it like it kind of seems like you're just going to run into the same problems right They probably couldn't mulligan their hand, obviously, but... Kinda hates... Kinda hate decay in this matchup. Uh, is that even the Krakis? I think I can... Actually, I kinda like Confidant. I want a second safekeeper. I'd probably just leave it like this, honestly. Like, the decays are pretty awful. The only reason to have decay is to kill Blood Moon or Magus of the Moon, so maybe I should just leave in a few to hedge. Alright. I'm gonna leave in like two to hedge, I think, is the reality. That's really hard. That costs a lot of mana, Lenoxy. But I do understand that. Yeah, I'm just going to cut all the bobs, actually. I'm not even convinced it's better than Confidant, to be quite fair. Especially if the game goes grindy. I'm going to shape one once for one bob on the draw. That's how many slots I had open. Hand's really bad. The bog's in my hand as well. Mm, guess I keep. Gonna ship swamp. Yeah, this is a good six card hand, obviously, but there's a lot there's a lot of thing bad things that could happen, hypothetically. Is that blind? Mox would have been really good right there. Yes, I could bounce with Caracas, but I don't think that's even that appealing. They had another reanimate ready to go, actually. That's pretty terrifying. Leave them with the looting. Right. 
Really? Okay then, I suppose. How are we gonna lose now? I mean, to be fair, we had very good hands for this matchup, I think, as well, to counterbalance it, but that was kind of absurd. Uh, they have archetype in, I'm sure. So I need to make merit wage, essentially. Good news is, it doesn't look like they brought in River and Silence. So if we have an opening ley line, we're probably good to go. Yo, thanks for the host. This is a pretty good hand versus reanimator, obviously. Um, trying to remember if there's a reason to put in both. I guess I will anyways. Hello, my opponent. Okay. This is the danger of doing this stuff. Really, I should take the looting? Can't wait to lose to hard cast like Grave Titan or something off Wake of the Dead. I don't think that's really the best idea. Problem is, if I don't take the Grave Titan there. Yep. They're actually really, really, really close to hard casting. They did take aid from Gristle Dad. Doing okay, I lost round one to Bryant. Um Yeah, I'm contemplating not blocking. I think it's actually correct. I'm kind of... 
Ugh, I hit F2 twice. Ugh. Oh, that's okay. It's fine. Yeah, they literally can't pay seven life with their bristle brand anyways, so. Serenity. That was really, really sad that I just accidentally clicked through, but obviously it's my fault. Why would I crack depths for Bayou? It's a chump walker. Um, I don't think I've actually actually ever clicked on the wrong copy on Magic Online. Alright, we won the match. So, I'm going to go on a slight rant. And forgive me if this is a little bit ranty. But you should just not always assume your opponents are going to stay on the same list that they played before. And in fact, that seems like a terrible idea to, to think that that's going to be the case. In this case, I've adapted my deck list because I want to be better versus Jeskai Breach or decks like that. So that's why there are ley lines. Obviously, like, that is splash damage, and, like, it sucks for my opponent that that happened, but it also seems kind of weird to pick a deck that's going to be hit by the splash damage. That's, like, kind of, like, bad metagaming, I think. So we are 1-1. I have a bunch of time. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fire up some Sporacles. And we'll see if I can complete them. Let's see, Sporacle.com. I think AGLVI made a bunch of Sporacles. What? Why is this Silver Spring, Maryland? Alright, whatever. Um, quizzes. All right. 
right, which one should I do? Oh, that makes sense. Stefan84, thank you for the follow. We'll all die to the random one. Nah. Zero mana artifacts? All right, let's go. Let's go, friends. Uh, how do I play this? Wait, what? Oh, I have to answer these questions? I'm just going to... Oh my gosh. How do I do this? Quiz? All right. Ornithopter. Shield Sphere. Rexian Walker. Uh, Chrome Mox. Mox Amber. Mox Opal. Mox Jet. Mox Emerald. Mox Pearl. There is bubble, yeah. There is bubble. Black Lotus. Does Chalice of the Void count? Wow. Uh, walking Blister probably counts then. Stun Quail Serpent. The answer appears to be yes. Dark Steel Relic. Uh, there's a bunch of scars. Herbal Poultice from Warlin. What's hockey puck? <laughs> There's three from the dark? Is Delph's cone one? Yeah, nice. I remember Delph's cone. Oh, yeah, I already said Dark Steel Relic. Oh, Astral Cornucope. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Dolph's Cone is a uh, classic. There's another one from Ice Age? Lodestone Bobble, maybe? It's probably Lodestone Bobble. No, that's from Alliances. Tilt. Don't think so, but I'll check. I guess they might. Okay, they do. Okay, well then. Ancient Thorn. Oh, I already got that one. White, red, blue, green, black. I got all of them. Vanguard Shield? No. Bone Saw then. What the hell is the zero? Cathar Shield is one, yeah. Shield of the Cord? Well, Quarter Shield is probably it. Yeah, that was the other one from... Oh, then Sigil of Distinction's probably in. There's still two from the dark? Whew. There's one from Exodus. Oh, Jewel Amulet is... How did I not get Lion's Eye Diamond? That's, that's crazy. Also, then probably also Lotus Petal has not been gotten. Oh, what's the other Visions one? Shifting Wall? Oh, someone said that. Oh, Ever Following Chalice. Yeah. No, we already said Tormod Script, right? Yeah, it's right there. Mox Diamond! What? Oh, what's wrong with me? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Wolding Jar is a nice one, yeah. <laughs> uh, someone already said actual cornucopia cons of tarkir the hell there's a zero man artifact in cons of tarkir oh a spider self net then but that's zendikar actually Endless one, nice. 
No, that's not an artifact. I know this one is not. Chamber sentry, yep. Orochi hatchery. Driver's purse, yep. Okay. Well, I know the names of these cards. I actually think I have a Orochi hatchery somewhere in my room. Oh, we said chamber sentry, yeah. Magic 2012. I wasn't able to spell it last time. All right, there we go. Uh, round two, I'm 1-1. One, one. I beat Reanimator in three. I already have Mishra's Bobble. It's in the Cold Snap section. There's one from Fifth Dawn. What, what's the other Fifth Dawn one? Explosives is Ob. No, Snake Bastic cost mana. It was a Rochi Hatchery. Someone said... Oh, maybe it was Kermak Mask. No, someone said Kermak Mask. Lightning Coils, maybe? No. Hmm. What's another Exodus? What's the Exodus one? What the hell? Um, not Mox Iron. Paradise Mantle. Yeah, we have Mishra's Bobble. It's right here in Col Cold Snap. I also got Lodestone Bobble, which is the Lion's one, which is sometimes played. Claw of Gix, nice. That's a classic. Claws of Gix, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it was actually in Standard, because you could sack hatching plans to it. It was reprinted in Time Spiral. The Magic 2012 one. No, Lotus Bloom's Time Spiral. And I think we got it. I already said Shield Sphere. That's one of the first ones I said, actually, somehow. I said Shield Sphere, Phyrexian Walker, because I remember those from uh, Sur Welder Survival back in the day. Walding Jar has been said right here. I guess I can make it bigger. Quarter Shield has been said. Lemonite's been said. Scars is done. Did I say Zeran Orb? Yeah, Zeran Orb's here. Alright, two from the dark. Don't look. One from Alliances. Ooh, Mana Crypt. Thank you. That's probably one. That's from Eternal Masters somehow. Kite Shield, yeah. Thank you. That's the Magic 2012 one. Oh my gosh. Alright. Gusta Scepter, nice. Nice one. That's the last alliances one. Despotic Scepter, maybe? Nope, that doesn't cost zero. Exodus, Visions, Two from the Dark. Cheaters. Paradise Mantle's been said from Fifth Dawn. All, all of the like modern era ones have been done. We're missing Exodus, Visions, the dark. Dwarf's pyramid. Nope. This is tough. Why is it so hard? Shifting law has been said. It's under stronghold. Dark sphere. What the hell is that? What? What? Oh, spell book is the Exodus one. Yeah. Fellor stone costs two. I I can't even with this. <laughs> All right, one from the dark, one from visions. Well, there's only one from the dark and one from visions left. That art is sick. All right, I'm, my feet are getting cold. Be right back one sec. All right, I'm back. Cold feet. It's been chilly here. Mm. 
Galaxy Marauder. I do not remember this card. Oh, I said Phyrexian Walker already. Oh, this card was bad. Uh, Phyrexian Walker is a 0 mana, 0 3 from that same set. Alright, one from the dark. It's probably some obscure card that no one knows exists. Fountain of Youth! Wow! Oh my gosh! Nice one, special K. Alright. We te technically Twitch chat got all of it. I can't believe we forgot that one. Alright, now is a good time to shout out the stream. I hope all 82 of you enjoy being here. And if you do enjoy it and you want to uh, support the stream, follow here, hit that sub button, follow on YouTube. Follow on Twitter. Appreciate everyone. So I've played, I remember a lot of those artifacts from uh, Flash Hulk. There were versions of Flash Hulk that just had disciples and all the artifacts. Most copies and PT top eights on time. Should we go? All right, sure. Uh... Nope. Most cards in Pro Tour Top 8s all time. Yeah, it's going to be a bunch of lands. No, I don't think the Legacy ones are going to show up too often. think force of negations there that's too recent hazard probably oh hazard's just outside of it actually um yeah probably each of the oh it said after the basic clans right after basic clans yeah it might be gta we'll see All Pro Tour top eights. Oh, nice one on. Birds of Paradise is a good shout. Yep. Noble Herrick just outside. Lenore Elves probably a good shout. See Rhino just outside. I don't think Ice Cradle top eighted that many Pro Tours. Iron Academy. Duress? Duress, good shout. That's the Urza Saga one. It's number two. It's not. There's literally zero. The Academy didn't even break like 53. Or just Druid, good shout. Nope. Sorcerer Falls. Nope. Summoner's Pact. Nope. Hunks of Nature. Jace the Mind Sculptor is a good shout, actually. Ooh, only 49. Wow. Weird. I don't think a lot of the broken cards actually have that many Pro Tour top eights because they were all banned too quickly, is my suspicion. Butter Blossom? Butter Blossom is 58. Wrath of God might be good. Yeah, nice one. Goblin Guide. Nope. Thermal Strike, maybe? Shock. Wow, Shock! 138 copies! Bitter Blossom wasn't there. Mastercore, though. 
59. So we got a morning tide one. Mendoin quick, probably, right? Nope, outside. This one quick, maybe? Nope. Spencer Sprite? Nope. Smuggler's Copter? Nope. We have the Veil? Nope. Mutavolt, probably good. Yep, nice one. Grey Merchant. I don't think Grey Merchant top eight that many Protors. Aether Hub? Aether Hub, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Which sword? Swords to Plowshares, probably? Nope. Shot and Port. Ah, oh, Port? Yeah, that's a nice one. Uh, Morath Stronghold? No. Rite of Flame? Look, for those of you who guess only Legacy cards, there's not that many. There haven't been that many Pro Tours that were Legacy, essentially. Dark Compound, probably a good one, though. Only 54? Skyforge Mystic. Nope. Scarab God. Good draft. Good evening. Falling Glaciers. Duress was number two. Lifetime. Squadron Hawk might be good. Uh, it would help if I spelled it. Nope. Uh, Scalding Tar's already there. Thought Knots here. Gataxian Pro? Nope. Heard it, Kieran. Um, Hearts right outside. Hazard was somewhere. I don't remember where it was. It, I don't think it was like on the primary thing. Puff Decay. Mox Diamond might be good, yeah. Nope. Dream House. Walking Ballista. Ballista is somewhere, probably. I think there's a bunch of lands I'm missing, so I'm gonna go through them. Nope. No on Ayavugan. Opt. Chalice of the Void? Probably not. Whoa, where the heck is Chalice? Chalice 55. I see. Uh, Hallowed Fountain. I think I typed it in. It's right there. Path to Exile is probably a great one. Yep. Fatal Push. Spike Feeder? Raven Inspector, probably a good one. Nope. Rise of Eldrazi. Elspeth Sun's champion. That would be Theros. And where is it? It's right outside at 50. Gideon, Ally of Zendikar. Probably a good shout. It's 83. I think I tried Vendolian quick. Yep. Horn of the Void. No. Oh, 61 outside, though. GTA's right here. Restoration Angel? Maybe. Brainstorm, I don't think it was in. Sweat of Hand might be in. Nope. There's a bunch of lands. Temple Garden, probably. Sacred Foundry. Snuffcaster Mage? Nice. Delver of Secrets? Gifts Ungiven? Nope. Predict Ritual? Nope. Storm Visions? Storm Visions, 59. Primeval Titan. Negate. Ooh, Negate 188. That's that's a good one. Reman, probably a good one. Nice. Windswept Teeth. Look, y'all remind me of the lands. I think I'm missing a bunch of lands. Lots. I think basically lands are all lock. Stoneforge was not in. Factor Fiction, maybe. Yeah, nice. Factor Fiction. Ancient Tomb. Nope. I said Overgrown's right here, I think. Apocalypse. Uh, probably Yavamaya Coast. Nope. Or Yavamaya Coast. Yeah, Breeding Pool. Blood Crypt. Bloodstained Mire. Aldrazi Temple. Mana Leak's probably good, actually. City of Traders? Nope. 
foam coil engine, maybe? Nope. Nice mirror. No. I mean, Wasteland's already right here. That's why. Inkloth Nexus, maybe. Blinkloth Nexus, then, probably, as well. Oh, it's outside. Arid Mesa. Mishra's Factory. Urza's Factory? Grim Monolith? Wait. Where was Grim Monolith? 68 Grim Monoliths. Val Kit for Molten Pinnacle? Nope. Not purple. Where was Opal? Opal outside at 63. Celestial Colonnade. Probably not, but maybe. Zendikar. I don't think there's a Fallen Empires one listed, right? Yeah, no Fallen Empires. Tinker might be good. Nice. 60, though. It's outside. Dark Confont. Counterbalance. Force of Will. Where was Force of Will? Force of Will at 62, just outside. Bird's already here. Ramunet Ruins. Yeah, that's probably one. Nope. Interesting. Terminus? Nope. I see Mithioir? Nope. Alright. One from Zendikar still. Step links, maybe. Nope. Plated Geopede. Anger of the Gods. Mother of Ruins. Disenchant. Ooh, Disenchant, good one. Nice. Yeah, there's probably a fetch land missing that. Battlefield Forge, probably. Where did Battlefield Forge go? Did it show up? Battlefield Forge, Battlefield. I saw, like, I saw it vanish. Verdant Catacombs. Marsh Flats here, I think. Marsh Flats is right there, yeah. Where did that go? Water Grave? Did I miss someone? I did. Nice. Hour of Devastation. Psychotog. No, Probe already wasn't on there. Verdant Catacombs is right here. There's one from Urza's Legacy. Corn Liberated. Nope. Tenacious Deed. Mental misstep. A braid is probably great. Yep, a braid from our. No, it was a braid. <laughs> you you just gotta think utility cards, I think. In in some ways. Nope. Dismember? Yep. Ponder for Orwin. No, I think Ponder was like down here somewhere. No, ran out of time! Treetop Village, Glacial Fortress, Lenor Oasis, Underground River, Evolving Wilds, Cryptic Command, Heroes Downfall, Corsair of Crucifix, Curse Scroll, Lightning Helix, Bomat Courier, Sylvan Carriage, Tectonic Edge, Disdainful Stroke. And we got a bunch of like the runner ups. Uh, that, that one's tough. That's really tough. Uh, there's just like. I mean, these cards make sense once you see them, but it's tough. We did not. Treetop Ob? I don't think anyone said that. <laughs> oh. I really don't think anyone said that. Uh, shout out to AGLVI. Do I have time for one more? Possibly. All right, I'll start for now. And if I have to go, I can just Desolation Twin. Uh, what the hell makes this? 
Three uh -oh. three angel. What the heck? Uh -oh. oh, the six man one one. What is it called? I mean, it doesn't help if I can't remember it. Angel. Oh, and ball with the preserver. Nice. Oh my god, I'm disappointed again. Ah. Oh, wing bait rock. Um, Eyes of the Wizen. No? Wait. This isn't Eyes of the Wizen? I thought it was Eyes of the Wizen. Am I spawning that card wrong? Oh. What the hell? Uh, this is from Warwin. It's not Wing of Life Ascension. Look, it's not impossible. Alright, I'll just skip, yeah. Uh, this is from Shadow Moor, so Spectral Procession, probably. Uh, don't Google. Yeah, that's uh, against the point. Uh, what is this? That's good then see. The hell? One one insect. Alright. The round's about to start. Oh, crawling filth? Oh Hapatra. Good luck oh, nest of scarabs? Ah, uh, it is nest of scarabs. Oh no, previous Mardu Strike Leader? Uh, uh, Soul Splicer? No, what is it called? Is that Salvation? Nope. It's not Soul Splicer, it's like Soul Preserver. Do you soften any Jaro? All right, we're gonna come back to this game after the round. All right. But we, we will go back to those quizzes, I promise you. Uh, one, one. All right, time to really think out my plays more carefully. Oh, there was a pause button? Whoops. Uh, well, now I know, Young Toast. Thanks for pointing that out. Soul Separator. You're right. That's what the... I, Soul Splicer kept getting stuck in my head. If the stream is so fun, hit that sub button. I think this is a keep. Obviously, the Sejuri step not ideal. Pat Chapin, Duckamoy. This hand seems bad. I would never mow in this hand, I think. Like, you could not pay me money to mow in this hand. Be Rouge still here? The Raj, you still here? Hmm. Uh, okay, fair point, fair point. That is actually a fair point. I think I might just take the depths actually. Yeah, I 
think Deb's is actually correct. Hmm? Let's see, this is like some sort of rock deck. Um. I don't know to six and kept his hand. I guess I... Hmm. I think I'm going to actually take Plague Engineer, I think. Yeah. I was, I was thinking about it. Yeah, we'll take a rock deck, but... And this is why you take the depths. I did once upon a time. I once into depths, played mocks, discouraged step, inquisitioned them. <laughs> How did Dewey? I don't know. I mean, I have missed doing that before, I'm not going to lie, but I've never missed it IRL. I've definitely missed it on Magic Online. <laughs> All right, so our opponent appears to be dead unless if something happens right here. This looks like a matchup where my deck is favored because I can just go way over the top, but I obviously don't know exactly what's in their deck, but I'm going to go for it. Got him. Looks like they're just like black green pile. Kind of just want some mid rangey cards just to uh, hedge. Maybe not the Plague Engineers, but the Liliana looks pretty good to me. I think discard's good. Safety Bird might be grat might be trash. They did mulligan for Give Hexar. Um, Ozzy, maybe. That might be better, actually. I think I'm going to slide out Bog, though. Oh, yeah, Ex Excavator might be good here. I think I want to shave, like, the Inquisitions, personally, but I don't know how people feel about that. I think I'm going to do that actually. Kind of want, kind of into the Zenith too actually. Might shave a waste. One, one dangerous part about this is my mocks and become a little bit more stressed, but I think it's at an acceptable risk. I had to buy four euros for an SUG open, but then it went up in price from where I bought them. So I'm kind of, uh, kind of happy I was forced to buy them. Pay 25 each, and I, I believe they are much more than that now. Uh, well, this is not a good hand. If I had one more land, it would be pretty good. Uh, this is pretty good. I think I will ship. I 
Watch me ship. Kind of want to keep this decay, but maybe that's crazy. I guess I'll keep. Um, I think it's between these two. I'll ship the decay. I think that's probably the safest. Oh, they're just bug zenith, I guess. This makes a lot more sense. All right, this actually makes a lot more sense. They did, look, they mold game one. Um, look, can we just stop? They definitely mold in game one. Mold a six. Uh, I guess I take Confront and just run out turn one Confront. Hope they don't have engineer. Kind of contemplating wastelanding them. I think I'm going to actually. Just to keep them off Zenith, keep them off bigger spells. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm doing it. I guess I should have figured out they were uh, bugs in it. The Misty Rainforest should have get, given it away, I think, actually, but... It just had a hand that had a lot of basics, so it was kind of disguised. That's really good. So they're always going to have trophy up, so I'm going to strain their mana by doing it end step. And if they trophy me, so be it. That's fine. I always will have access to other mana. I would consider the engineer or choke, but probably not too differently. I'm going to go for it now. If they let me block, I can I can kill that. And then if they go for Oko, I can crop rotation to give it protection. But we'll see what they do.
So I get basically everything I want. I can attack them with the Merit Wage and their Oko with the other two. Because the force block is like that. So I kill their Oko. Then I, I just have an enormous board. Even if they have another Oko here, like, what does that even do? Like, my board is so big that I think we just get them real good. Claimers are big. I'm actually going to leave this one untapped, I think, to fetch for a colored source or a wasteland. Um... I think that's actually correct, but it's close. I think we know Sejuri, like, crop rotate that away for probably nurturing peatland, but we'll see what happens. I don't think I want to attack with that one. And here's the other thing. Even if they have Ice Fang Collateral, it doesn't even have Death Touch because they don't have enough Stone Permanence. Another thing this does, if I rotate this away and I draw exactly right Excavator, I can replay the Sejuri stuff from my graveyard. So that would be pretty cool as well. Yo, thanks for the three-month resub. I'll open a chest for you. Pretty convinced Pete one's the best one to get here. I normally don't play this card, I don't think it's very good, but... Um... I can cycle into Decay and it would probably be lethal, so I guess I'll do that. Basically, it was like a Golgari Stompy deck this game. Two one with Golgari Stomps. All right, you know what it's really time for? Back to this Oracle. Oh, I guess I'll open a chest for Young Toast first. Black green aggressive strategy. Yep. Uh, I'll open a chest for Young Toast. Then we'll get back to it. Okay, Charger. Can I play, play points? Uh, because I was thinking about what would happen if I cycled. Cycled the peatland. Alright. Let's go back to this quiz. Uh, this was Desolation Twins still. Ah, oh, back. Did I ever... No, Linvala. That's what it was. I want bird token from Zendikar. Amiria Angel. Wingmate Rock. Hoof prints of this stag. That's what it was. Spectral Procession. What the hell was this? We're 2 1 now. But more importantly, we're back to the Sporacle. What card makes this token? 4 4 Blue Sphinx from Journey into Nyx. Oh my gosh. Hour of Need. It's not time. Time of Need tutors up a legend, Chocolate Girl. Braska the Unseen. Nest of Scarabs. Mardi Strike Leader. Bunch of these I knew the first time as well, so. Uh, soul Separator, right? Uh, Dragons of Tarkir makes a zombie horror. What the hell? Oh. 
What the heck is this? No Googling, please. Let's just figure it out. Or skip it for now. Oh, it's from Cons. It's from Cons Detect here? But it says D DTK on the bottom. Uh, in any case, I don't know right now. If someone comes up with it, let me know. Dragon Roost. Goblin Rebel Master? Um, Thatcher Revolt? What the hell is this? Something of the Swine. Curse of the Swine, I think. It's Curse of the Swine. Yeah. Yo, is it is it Curse of the Swine? Dwynen's Elite. Rapid Hybridization? Oh, this is, uh, what the? Dowsing Dagger? Yeah, Dowsing Dagger. Ronus Last Stand? Spider Spawning. No, this isn't Bitter Blossom. Because it's from Shadowmore. Uh, blue Black card from Shadowmore that makes Fairy Rogues. Una! Ah, that's a good shout. Una, Queen of the Fae. Uh, this is the black-green thing from uh, Cons. What the hell is it called? I don't remember the name of it, but it's yeah, it's it's an uncommon sorcery that makes a star star. No. Kintry invocation. Yep. I believe there's a hyphen, but I registered this card in the PTQ. Call of the Skybreaker. God sire. Uh 6-6 six, six Beast from Kaladesh? What the hell? Kaladesh had so many random cards in it. Ugh. All right, I just wanted to keep an eye on the thing. 6-6 um, six, six Beast from Kaladesh. No, it was Lorwyn Block constructed in a PTQ. So Lorwyn Block constructed had four things. Architect of the Untamed. Oh, nice shout. Uh, it had four sets in it. It had Lorwyn, Morning Tide, Shadowmore, Eventide. Stone Idol Trap, I believe, for this one. Um, Heliod? Of the sun? No, not Heliod. Hammer of Perforous. Got it. Nine nine. Golem. Yeah, it was Hammer of Perforous, which I've also registered, but I forgot that too. <laughs> oh boy. Titan Forge? I don't remember that card. What the hell does it do? Oh, I don't think that card was good, but. Tezzeret the Schemer. Okay, we're back to this one. Well, saying Tez is not helpful, there's like a thousand Tezzerets. What is this zombie horror from? Dragons of Tarkir, Cons of Tarkir, is Star Star. I'll skip for now. Oh, this is literally the last one we have. Black Enchantment. I don't remember this enchantment. Corpse Left? Is it Corpse Left? Wow. 
Great job, Twitch chat. Great job. Next quiz. Wait. Oh, uh, I don't want to do this. Although I guess I could do this. Uh, I don't know a lot of these, but... All right, let's go for it. No, let's go for it. Trigger. Final Fantasy Tactics. I thought almost Final Fantasy Tactics. Metroid. Final Fantasy 7. Oh. Uh, I see. Batman? Portal. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yo, what's up, Paris Lane? I'm doing some sporacles in between rounds. We're 2-1. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Mortal Kombat. Donkey Kong. Uh, we're trying our best. King K. Cruel is Kirby, I think. Could we dream one? Maybe not. F6. Pyramid Head. Kingdom Hearts 2. Star Fox. FF10. Yeah, that was sin. Silent Hill. Which one's Silent Hill? Pyramid Head? Half-Life, maybe? Oh, G-Man's Half-Life. God of War. Metal Gear, one of these is Metal Gear Solid. I'm pretty convinced. I thought... Oh, no! Goldeneye. That's what Trevlin's from. Right. Donkey Kong? Resident Evil. Wait. Oh, Psycho Mantis! That's the crazy one who, like... Pretends to read your memory save card. Castlevania. Oh, Donkey Kong Country. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, what's Kane from? I want to say almost Final Fantasy Tactics. I, I really remember. I also thought Pyramid Head was Silent Hill. <laughs> Queen Slug for a butt. Yeah, what's with Queen Slug for a butt? <laughs> Look, you can't just go around calling people Queen Slug for a butt. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Silent Hill. Star Wars? But which Star Wars? Old Republic. Maybe Coder. Oh. Interesting that you would use these, like... Who made this one? Oh, it was just a random person. That's why it has weird... FFT. Final Fantasy Tactics. Alright. I'm gonna give up. Silent Hill 2? Oh, come on. Earthworm Jim. Kane was Command and Conquer. I know. Plus, plus indeed. Why? <laughs> yeah, Earth Earthworm Jim is actually a great game. All right. Uh, okay. So, after the next round, we'll go to Legendary Epithets. Wow, there's a... Oh, actually, it's... Holy cow, there's so many quizzes, AG, AJ LVI. 2019 NFL members. I probably could get all of these, but I would have to think about it for a long time. 
pre-order card names? I don't know. We can go through it and see. What's up, Nugati Knight? By the way, thanks for everyone being here. If you enjoy the stream and me trying to do quizzes, I uh, hit hit follow, hit sub. You know, support the stream. If you want to use your Twitch Prime sub on someone else, feel free to do that. There's plenty of great streamers out there, and I encourage you to do so. Whoa, an evil toaster has followed me. Playing against QB Turtle. All right. I believe QB Turtle used to be one of Ari's college mates. So let's see, let's see if we have a good match. Hand sucks. I'm gonna mulligan. Hands fine. We're gonna ship the second box diamond. This is a case where Mox Diamond's a lot better than Elder Spirit Guide for sure. Yeah, it's sort of an ugly one, but I don't think you're allowed to mulligan this one personally. Probably shouldn't F6, but it's okay. The draw's a little bit awkward, but definitely not mulliganing. Let's look at my opponent's straight grits. Oh. It's not die, I guess. I know I have a ton of options now. I think I'm just going to rotate my step away for a stage and step, but I'll see what they do. Soltai is definitely the worst Delver variant at flipping Delver, but it has a bunch of strong cards to make up for it, generally speaking. So I'm, I think I'm going to get Stage or Urborg, but it depends a lot on what happens on this turn cycle for them. I don't think playing confidants particularly appealing, but it, you could actually you could actually defend doing that. I think Nugati Knight, but I think it's going to turn out to be worse to do that than leave up Reclaimer activation. I think. Chose not to shuffle is kind of terrifying. Just take two. Two damage is not really that relevant. Might lose to like the quick delver stuff, unfortunately. Just kind of annoying. Should have actually reconsidered sac. I should have sacrificed the depths. I think once they played the wasteland, I think that was actually a mistake. Yeah. 
do think I have to get Urborg now. They might waste my Urborg, but that's okay. Uh, I, th I believe uh, other people have tried that. I think it's a reasonable way to build your deck. I haven't personally played it. Uh, my plan in these matchups is generally to board into the rock deck because I think they love to overload on like annoying stuff post board. Like just if you elongate the game and play like a bunch of Tarmogoyfs and kill their stuff, I think they can't win either. I'm going to leave in Confidant versus them, but versus like the red based ones, I would normally side out on Confidants. So that's generally my plan in this game, or plan in these matchups post board. Bayou was a good draw. Force of Will, uh, interesting. I have to work through one Wasteland to make my... Wait, so I guess I'll see what they do. I think I'm going to tutor up stage and see what they do. Okay, never mind. I guess I will eat. So that's nine damage. So if I block. Block, tutor up, bog, bog them. Go for what now? You know they have Wasteland, right? What do you think would happen if I tried to go for it? Sam, think out the entire plan and tell me what you would do. Because I don't think it works. Block, activate, sacrifice, buy you, bog them. I could get just get a stage here actually that might be better so I don't get killed yeah I guess I'm actually supposed to get stage and not even bother killing their time wave like who cares yeah getting stage is better by the way if you want me to make plays you really 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 need to give reasons instead of just shouting things out I'm going to point that out Either give reasons or be clear that your clip, your play is actually good. After I thought about it for a bit, I did conclude that getting stage is better, but...
So the hand's verdant force, so they might just snap off waste here. Also, top decking wasteland would be good, but. Note, I have basically no ability to beat Brazen Borrower because the step's already in my graveyard. Yeah, their hand's Verdant Force. I'm going to main phase this so they don't draw another wasteland. Good joke. If their top card's Oko or Brazen Bower, I'm in pretty bad shape, obviously, but that's okay. Don't think I improve here, so doing this is clearly correct. I agree. I'm not attacking because I, I believe if my thing dies... I don't think attacking changes anything, essentially. Right. Agreed. I'm going to start putting them in the abyss. I agree. Color source would win the game. I'm actually going to block here. If they have Liliana the Veil, so be it. But I think Liliana would be pretty bad for me anyways. I think virtually all of the lists cut Liliana for Oko anyways, so... Scary. Three cards is a lot. Chose not to shuffle, I'm so dead. Oh. Oh. It was probably just brainstorm, right? It wasn't 20, but it was a few. Um, thanks, Newt. I'll see you around.
Escape seems bad. I think it's good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, maybe that is actually bad. I guess my decays are kind of strained as it is. Okay. I want... No. I kind of want them still. I think Luli is worse than Tarmogoyf by a lot, to be quite fair. I like this because if you play this with the combo out, it makes it really hard for them to actually get you. I don't think Plague Engineers... Like, they showed you Delver, Tarmogoyf, Brazen, Borrower. They don't have true name, generally, but... I mean, like, the Borrower is so problematic as it is, I don't think trying to kill it a 3-1 with your 3-mana 2-2 is a good idea. I think I'll just mostly stay fast. You could make a case for this card, this card. Well, actually not for this card, really. But for this card. So... Sometimes. Depends if I'm on the player draw. Versus Grixis, I definitely do because they try to go like bigger a lot of the times. Gonna keep. Once is very, very likely to hit a land. And if you hit a land, it's pretty good. I'm going to play my land first to play around days. That's actually okay too. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play two 1-drops, though. Play days that, so be it. That's fine. Brainstorm. Feels like you should technically brainstorm first before attacking, but it's not a big deal. It's fine. Probably going to thought seize them and leave up reclaimer activation. Pretty good too. I think I can still thought seize this turn. If you play the land first, you play around double days, technically, even though they're like so unlikely to do that.
guess I don't even have to main phase activate, right? I guess if they have stifle in their deck, I would ra rather would do that. We're going to engage in a race where I think I'm favored is my plan currently. This is a game where Tarmoglyph would be really, really, really good, I think. Whoa. Sucks now. Guess I have to race and hope they don't flip. I know their last card's Wasteland, so I'm not going to play the Thoughtseize. Mm, that sucks. Probably dead now. I died. I think I'm actually going to trim on the discard now, especially they've shown me Veil. Because, like, screw that. I think I'm satisfied with this. But it, I guess, not that it's necessarily correct, but the confident line would have worked out a lot better, I think, given their hand. Oh, this hand's absurd. I have like no resources now, unfortunately, but that's okay. They're probably gonna push. Damn, they drew a land. Probably gonna lose this game, unfortunately. So we're in game three versus Bug Delver.
Not feeling great. Bob's also playing Depths. Interesting. I think Depths is a natural reaction to where this meta is going, actually. Why does my opponent make me wait? Come on, let's get it going. Super annoying. The last two cards are Force and Oko. So either way, it will trade with the Oko essentially. I leave in the bog. He did. What did they flip? Force. Okay, that's fine. One good top deck deserves another. Am I right? think so. If they have anything, obviously I lose, but I'm not allowed to play around things again. A land would have killed them, but it's still correct to attack, I think. Come on. Untapped land was clearly the win. Um, my curse of three twos continues. Potential three twos, obviously I'm two two, but that was a disappointing one to lose. Spirit Guide would have done literally nothing there, too. 
I'm just going to point that out. I do not believe casting Bob was going to do anything that game except get me killed. Hmm. Playing against Winged Hussar, who's in this chat. All right, round five, gonna finish it out, then probably call it quits for the night. Uh, I could do one more Sporkle quiz, one or two more Sporkle quizzes after this match, sure. That's reasonable. What the heck? Points going to four. Hmm. We'll go for a fast kill. The question is which card do you play on turn one? I think Reclaimer's better here since my opponent's so low on resources, but. Oh boy. I guess I wouldn't have done this if I'd known what they were playing, but. Let's add something. Wow, faded. Right, so that was likely. So I guess they're just reanimator. Bayou implies that they have a reverent silence on the sideboard, so the the point is you shouldn't put in multiple ley lines unless you should really only put in one ley line if you have two in your hand. All right. 
going to game two. I'm, I'm willing to bet it's black red with a green splash, black red reanimator with a green splash based on that game. What else was I doing? Oh, I think Compton. 2-2 two, two split between Deta Decay and Compton, I think, is correct. Shout out to everyone hanging out again. Sometimes Magus of the Moon as well, uh, Quark, Roxian. I don't think you want a lot of decays, but I think a small number of decays is good, if that makes sense. Oh, <laughs> it looks like Goblin Lackey is playing against our Bug Delver opponent that we lost to last round. I still here? I don't know what's probably doing. I guess I'll use the restroom real quick while we wait. I'll be right back. I'm going to run a quick ad. I thought I was going to run a quick ad. I will. Be right back one second. Gosh. Uh, my opponent kept seven, but this hand's pretty good. So, keep, I guess. I'm going to do Mulligan this hand? Certainly not. Only way it could get better is if I draw a crop rotation, I think. Because that would give like maximum insurance. I see. Okay. Well, you know what? I don't want to close it on that, but we'll do a few more sparkle quizzes. Yeah, they were just having none of it. Um One or two more sporacle quizzes and I'll call it tonight. What do people want to do? 
That sounds really, really hard. Um, three card, uh, three letter card names. Good ones. Twenty five plus copies in a single. Uh, I do like at least three. Maybe four is excessive, but three is definitely good. All right, let's do let's do twenty five plus copies in a single PT top eight. All right. Ooh, this one's nice. Okay. Let go. Three of crowns. Wait, what? Am I confused? Sorcerer of Pure Gifts. Ah, uh, right. Well, but there's Mythic Championship 6. 25 plus copies in a single PT Top 8. No, Eldraine was legal. Alright, once upon a time. Drazi Temple, Eye of Ugin, Tinker, Gibson Given, No, Since He's Divining Top, Problem Joint Voucher, No, For Monolith, probably. Yeah. Was it GT at, uh, no, it wasn't, right? A PT Philly 05. Kadama's reach, I bet. GT, only one white weenie deck top eight of that tournament, Ferrando, if you remember that. Uh, Fox Seas, probably. Nope. 1999 Worlds, Tempest, Urza, Destiny, Standard. Ah, Veil is a good shout. How is it not Oko for the other one? Nope. This one's really hard. Seal, maybe? Nope. This one might be Stone Forge Mystic. Which Jace? Armath. Field of the Dead, maybe? Nope. Golos. Tireless Pilgrim. Okay, so. Jace Vryn's Prodigy? Nope. Mantis Rider? Seed Rhino? Nope. Whale of the Void. Nope. Well, you need to look at the tournaments. I don't think any of these would have Leyline, right? Uh, besides Basic Lands, these cards have had 25 plus copies in single PT Top 8. Lin Sibby. Okay. That might be one. Nice. Nope. It was just outside. Psychotog, maybe? Sure. That was only 23. Mystical teachings, maybe? Zoop and Shapeshifter. Tendrils of Corruption. Dr. Christian. Found Ravager? Nope. Which which Jace breeding pool? Skull clamp. Nope. Curse scroll maybe? Wow, there were two for curse scroll. Okay. Hulk combo. What is Hulk combo and why do you think that's a thing? 
Reality Smasher, maybe. No, if that was 24 at Protor Oath. Jackal Pup? Could be. Nope. Alright, PT Aether Revolt. Sean Port is a good shout. Wow, it just showed up three times. Oi, oi. <laughs> Protor New York, oh, oh. Worlds, oh, oh. Uh, Smuggler's Copter, yeah, maybe. That was only illegal for one Pro Tour. 25 plus copies and one Pro Tour top eight. N excluding basic lands. Fires of Yavamaya. Nope. Scrap Heap Scrounger, good call. Yeah, that was, uh, that's 31. Squadron Hawk, maybe. Yep, 28 for Pro Tour Paris. I should have known that. Uh, no, Smuggler's Copter was not in. Maybe there's no Flash 3S. Nope, it's not in. Humoid in Knowledge? Maybe? Nope. Uh, 2008 Worlds. Thoughtseize? Did I say Thoughtseize already? I did. That was 2007 Worlds. Rag Tusk, maybe? Nope. No one unless. Oh, no. <laughs> You almost tricked me. Victoria Abinson restored. Wolf Fear Silverheart, probably. Nope. How much was Wolf Fear Silverheart? 22. Harness Lightning. 22. Victoria Kaladesh. Uh, Heart of Kieran was down here. 26. Hunt Master of the Fells. Maybe if I could spell. Nope. Tune with Aether, sure, that makes sense. 20. Lingering Souls? Lingering Souls was banned for uh, the block PT. Which Teferi basic waste? There's a ton of them. I guess Time Raveler is what you mean, but that one doesn't work. Your Dominaria, maybe? Nope. Mage of Zalfir? Nope. All right. I'm out. <laughs> um, Grim Monolith. I already said Tinker right here. 28. Lingering Souls was banned in block. Disruptive student. Uh, you can't trick me with that one. Uh, Nissa, who shakes the world. Nope. Wolverine Elf? Elf was 20, 2009 Worlds. Attune with Aether was 20, Protor Amonkhet with Marvel. Maybe it was Aetherworks Marvel. Nope. Fiddle Push? How many Fiddle Pushes? 22. Aether Hub. Aether Hub, 20, Protor Amonkhet. Ponder. Where is Ponder? 20 Pro Tour Philadelphia. Hurricane Pro Tour Philadelphia. Bioskull. Bioskull was not heavily played, to be fair, so I'm not gonna. Bioskull 24 Pro Tour Chicago. 24 World 2009. Yeah, Bioskull's not one. Lorwin Alora Standard. Cruel Tomato, maybe? Maybe Bitter Blossom, actually. Yeah, Bitter Blossom World 08. That's one. Reflecting Pool, also maybe. Nope. 20, Pro Tour Kyoto 09. Kitchen Finks. That's probably a good one. Chase the Mind Sculptor? Maybe. Chase the Mind Sculptor. 24 at 2010 Worlds. Maybe Primeval Titan, actually. Nope. So we have one from Worlds 2010, one from Protor Nagoya 2011, Scars Block. Grove of the Burn Willows. Probably not, but yeah, probably not. I just put it there. Prognostics thing? Sylvan Caryatid, actually, I think is the other one from, yeah, from this 
TT, which was drained in the next Sea of Traitors, Ancient Tomb. Good shout. Those were both the Tinker deck, essentially, I think. Balthus Endicar, not Gideon. Mana Leak. 24 at Worlds 2010, so just outside, but we're getting a, little, a lot of the ones that are close. Scars was likely an artifact, but I can't think of it. Maybe Flame Tongue Kagu? Nope. Counterspell? Counterspell is 20 in 2002 Worlds. Twenty-five plus copies in a single Pro Tour top eight, excluding preordain was twenty-four. Dogcast maybe, nope. Jade White Ranger, nope. I yeah, I tried mystical teachings. I think a lot of these are. I would know, but I just can't remember off the top of my head. It's kind of frustrating. What's up? Opt. How many opts are there? Opt 20 at Mythic Championship 1. History of Benalia. That's probably one. No? History. Where is it? Only 24. Oh, good job for running. I went 3-2. The one, I guess you beat a lackey, or are you, sorry, you beat the QB turtle. Tech Edge, good shout. Treasure Cruise. I think those were banned before they were good in the uh, Eternal formats. I, I tried to, it, it didn't show up. Oko didn't show up, even though I'm pretty sure that's an answer. Reflector Mage. This side, who shapes the world. This one was hard. I don't know. Like maybe Ink Moth Nexus. Uh Evolving Wilds, yep. Disintegration. Uh Chain Roller. Cooptop Retreat. Sacred Foundry. Paradise Druid. A braid. Circular logic. That's what it was. Terramorphic Expanse. Remember this was Time Spiral Block Constructed and Flooded Strand. The hell? Really flooded strand? I don't remember that whatsoever. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I do remember logic. All right, let's do one more. All right, let's do one mana cantrips. This should be a good one. Opt shadow. Cerulean Wisps, Thought Scour, Shadow of Doubt cost two. Ten Visions, Mental Note, Warlord's Fury, Crash Through, So Clark Clairvoyance, I think is the name of it. The Wisp Cycle. The problem is, name the Wisps, Ferrando. Necrotic Wisps? No. Portent, sure. Cerulean Wisps, I already called it. Nivius Wisps. Cool. Slide of hand. It's card in hand. It, it's not actually there, but sure. Disrupt. Cool. Yep. That's from Weather Light. Um, two Stronghold ones. Good lord. Two Artifact ones. Striped Riverlander. Does it count? I guess I'll see. Nah. 
I, I think it said instant or sorcery. Yeah, it's instant or sorcery. One CMC. Defiant Strike. Ephotic Wisp sounds right. Yep. Needle Drop. Repeal. Yep. Nice. Nice. Um... Damn, there's so many of these. Virulent Wisps. That sounds right. Nope. But it's not. Whoops. We're missing the green and red ones. I'm pretty sure. Because this is the black one, this is the blue one, and this is the white one. Ravnica City of Guilds, huh? I uh, already said opt from Invasion right here. Veil of Summer probably works. Oh, conditional draw. Uh, I don't think it's a dupe like that. Because Disrupt was also an Invasion. Whispers of the Muse. Yeah, but these are extra. Hello, large brain. Stronghold. Two stronghold ones still, huh? Visions of Beyond. Yep, that's a good one. She usually draws one. Weep. Nice. Can't say I would remember that one. Guided Strike? Oh, that's CMC too. Why are there so many of these? Oh my god. Again, don't cheat. Mystic Speculation? No. Shadow Haze? Crimson Wisps, that's what it is, yeah. Night Haze, what the hell is that? I really don't remember that card. Slip Through Space? Yep. Did I get my prizes? Did. I'll open those chests in a second. Hmm. Oh no, I've racked up another full one. Fear or Swamp Walk? Ryle? Forgot that. 3x Torment ones. Overmaster. Yeah, good one. I like that card too. Overmaster's sweet. Reach through miss. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that. Obsessive search, also a nice one. Has madness. Quicken. Can trips that cost one instance or sorceries only, JW Hollow. You should be good at this as a Grixis Death Shadows player. Peak! Nice! Love me a peak. Predatory urge? What's the red quicken? I don't know. What is the red quicken? <laughs> Draws two. <laughs> Bandage. Nice. Expedite. Yep. That's from Oath. All right. We got a Kaladesh one. Draws three, sort of. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to put down Brainstorm, but... <laughs> it says sort of. <laughs> uh, I mean, Renegade Tactics. Can't say I remember that one, but offhand. All right, there's one from Scars. It's bothering me. It's probably a blue card. Look, Portent's already here. Predator's Urge. No, I think it is Predator Urge, but I think it costs one in a green for Rando. Or Aggressive Urge is actually the card, right? But I think it costs two. Repulse costs three. Predator's Urge? I mean, I put down Aggressive Urge. Nope. Cremate, nice. Nice one, Squeak Squitters from Invasion originally. It was reprinted in some other set. We have a bunch left. 
Yeah, we have that right here. No, the Odyssey one was peak. Oh, minus one, minus a uh, cloak of feathers. I've never heard of that card. Did you Google that? Weeding distraction. All right, that sounds familiar. What the hell is cloak of feathers? <laughs> what the hell? Fulgent Distraction. Sounds possible. Nope. Didn't that cost two and a white? It did. It didn't even draw a card. Alright. Twisted Image! Yes! Thank you! Someone! Pepper Smoke? Yep. That's also from Morrowind. But it's a conditional draw. Orphanus. It says Oracle. They're basically quizzes. The CMC one instant or sorceries that draw exactly one card. I'm going to do one more quiz after this one and then call it quits. I think people are enjoying it, so we might as well just hang out for a bit. There's still one more shadow. Is the green one? What is the green wisp called? Zap is a tuna red. Dumb. Festival of the Guild Pact. Thank you. That card was terrible. Thank you, Squeaks. There is a lore cantrip in Rise. I don't remember it. <laughs> There's so many obscure cards. Thermal flux from cold snap sounds right, but it's it's a slow trip. That's why it's down here. Irresistible prey. Dredge, nice, nice. And rage is an X and a red hell from beyond. Armath. Balduvian Rage, though, maybe. But that's also a slow trip. No, think twice costs two. Min. Scout's Warning, nice. I played that one. Yeah, the category is one CMC. We have one from Torment and one from Shadowmore. The Shadowmore one is a green wisp, so I'm going to count that as a win, but I don't know what the Torment one is. Viridian Wisps? Sounds right. Nope. Unless I saw it wrong. Nope. I don't think it's Viridian or Vert. Nope. What's the Torment one? Anyone know? Insist? Nice. It was Insist, alongside Overmaster. Oh, I don't know what the, I'm, I'm, I'm going to count us getting the Green Wisp. I just don't remember the name. Viridescent Wisp. Oh no. Ah, all right. Okay. One more. I'll let you all pick. All right. Min, are you here? You want to do Azorius Instance, Min? A shout out to you, a tundra lover. 
You know what? This might be fun anyways. <laughs> no one rated it. It doesn't have a rating. Alright, let's do white blue instance. Alright, you all ready? Every instant which is white and blue know what their colors. Uh, Alright, Absorb Ob, Dovin's Veto, Sphinx's Revelation, Azorius Charm, Overrule, Supreme Verdict is a Sorcery, we're only doing instants, Aether Mage's Touch, Warrant, Warden, Dramatic Rescue, Daring Leap. This is for you, man. I hope you didn't leave. Guided Light. Maybe? Hindering Light, yeah. Time Life is also a sorcery. Heroes Reunion. Emergency Power is nice. Vanish into memory, yep. <laughs> it was sweet. Depose, deploy. Yep. One more for Ravnica Allegiance. Dance of the Bands is a sorcery. Uh, yeah, Warren Warden's already here. Failure to comply. Yep, that's from Ammon Cat. There's an alliance this one still. What the hell? It's probably something awful. Oh, it's farm to market, yeah. From Mauer of Death Station. That call is green. Yep. So we already got vanished into memory. It was the only cool snap one. Or reborn. It's not ardent query. Ojitai's command, nice. Repel intruders, reviving vapors from invasion. Aether toe, yep. Single word from Shadowmore. Instance Weinberg, instance Mirror Weave, nice, nice. Well, when you play a lot of magic, you just know a bunch of stupid cards. Azorius Ploy, nice. <laughs> uh, I already said it, Aether Mage's Touch because I played that one in uh, Grinders for Nats once. Uh, God. Mirage, what the hell is a Mirage one? Aether Toe already said from Shadowware. Oh my God. Yeah, what is it? Three blue white, gain five counter unless you pay five. Probably from Dragon's Maze. Also, Swift Silence is a nice one. As I wish I'm already said. There is one more from RTR though. Fall of the Hammer? Is that what it's called? No. Render Silent? It's like Call of the Hammer. Fall of the gavel, that's what it is. Prismatic boon. What the hell is prismatic boon? I don't actually know. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? I don't think I've ever seen this card. My only recollection of Mirage Limited is you should be red green because Savage Twister is an uncommon. Yeah, I've never seen that card. Sphinx's Insight, nice shout. That's the last Wrapping of Allegiance one. So one Alliances, one Invasion. Um, Savage Twister was also a common in uh, Guild Pact, Armath. So I, I don't know what you want to say about that. <laughs> it's really unpleasant to play against Twister. Restore the peace. What the hell? Don't remember that one. 